Hello, this is my review video for Kubuntu 11.10, the Oniric Ocelot. So in my previous videos, I generally just gave a review of the programs that I generally install in Kubuntu itself. But a lot of people were asking how I got certain effects to work. So I think what I'll do with this video is concentrate more on the setup that I use for Kubuntu 11.10 rather than the programs that I have installed. If you're interested in any of the programs I'd like to use, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. It's there for the last few releases. Okay, so this is my desktop as it is at the moment with my own wallpaper. Okay, so if you want to kind of customize things around, I think the first thing to do here is if you go down to the Nuon Package Manager, just start it up, and you want to search for a package called Plasma Wallpaper Add-ons. Okay, so whenever this starts up, so it's Plasma Wallpaper Add-ons, here it is. Okay, if you install this package, and also install the package for a desktop um, globe called Marble. Okay, so Marble and Plasma Wallpaper Add-ons. So the first thing we'll do is have a look at how to change certain things on the wallpaper. So just right click. Sorry, before I do this, I'll just open up a little application to show you what key presses I'm using. So Keymon is the one I use. So if you just look here, you can see what key presses I'm using. So we just right click on the desktop. Now I'm on image at the moment, so I think color is fairly self-explanatory. Virus, so let's just start off with an image here, air, and apply that. Okay, we'll come back to this in a second. Virus Mandelbrot is just the standard Mandelbrot set, and you can see what's happening with it, and you can change a few of the details. Weather is quite a nice option, so if you just give it a city, let's say Berlin, and search for Berlin, you've got a particular example there, Berlin Tegel, and then if you just go down to Advanced, you can see what it's actually doing. It fetches the weather condition here, so depending on what weather condition it is, let's say rainy, there is rain on the table is the that particular image there so if I just make this a bit bigger yeah, sorry it didn't, it didn't work out um, yeah so that's the image it will fetch for that one instead of weather we can have pattern for these obvious image is what I already have and then slideshow another obvious um, system feature so I can just add whatever folder I want down here now globe is the last one, so you only get this option now when you install marble and the plasma wallpaper add-ons. So let's take the earth at night. Okay, projection is globe, and move this out of the way. Quality normal interactive. Okay, interactive just means I can play with it. So yeah, sorry, before we do this, I just want to go back to virus, where I was before. You can see the effect of the virus on the wallpaper here if I just magnify. Um, it's like a virus kind of eating away at the wallpaper here. Okay, that's the effect of that. The next one to have a look at was globe. Okay, so let's apply globe. You get an atlas here. I've taken the, uh, one of the historic atlases, but you can play with any one you want. Okay, and you can zoom in the wheel and zoom out. Okay. So the last option I'll show you on the systems, the desktop settings is to remove wallpapers that you may or may not have added. So if I go back to my standard one, which is image, okay, I've got two things here that I have added to the, my set of default wallpapers, okay, so Miranda and Adriana. So let's just remove her with the little X there, and you get back to your standard set here. I can keep on removing or adding. You can add more using the open button down here. Okay, so we'll go back to our standard desktop. We're done. Okay, the f next thing we'll do is system settings. So if you go down to system settings, and we'll go into application appearance. Okay, so an application appearance, the first thing we can do is pick colors. So if I pick different color, let's say Obsidian Coast, we can see the effect of it. Quite a nice theme actually. Everything kind of goes this darker color. Okay. You can also get new schemes here live from the internet. Okay. It's a very nice way of installing things. 
the other way we can do it is if we just go back to what I had, which is honeycomb, like that. Okay, icons similar. You can change these things, get new files, fonts, GTK appearance for GTK applications, emoticons for your messenger applications. Okay, the next one is the workspace appearance. So in workspace appearance, we can change what the windows look like here, what our cursor looks like. We just hover over, we see what's happening with it. The desktop theme, okay, so this air is what the standard Kubuntu one is. I think it's the best one. And then the splash screen, in other words, the thing you see at boot up. Okay. The next one to have a look at is desktop effects. So you might have seen when I zoomed in on the screen what the effects were. So these are my settings here. On all effects, the magnification one I'm using is this one, called the looking glass. So if we just roll over looking glass here, like a fisheye lens, and you can see the key presses I'm using for uh, meta, which is the kind of Windows key that's showing up here, equals and plus to zoom in and out, and to default back to zero. And there's a few other effects here. You can see them all on the standard ones, then like wobbly windows. You can see the effect, wobbliness less or more, stuff like that. And then you can just take the window, and you can see it kind of wobbling a little bit around here. Okay, the next thing we'll have a look at is some of the desktop widgets. So if we just make sure we've unlocked all the widgets, all the widgets on our desktop, okay? So once you've unlocked them, the little bar here pops out of the side. Once the bar is out of the side, you can just move it around, rotate it around like this, do whatever you want. Okay, so I have a desktop folder view here, network monitor, CPU, trash, two notepads, and that's just my keyboard monitor, and then my weather status thing here. So if I just magnify this up, you can see what's happening. You can do a few more bits of customization here. If you have a look down at the K, just right click on the K there. If you say switch to classic menu style, you can get back to what it might have been like in KDE 3. Point something, okay? So like the old style there. Another one is if you zoom down here to the bottom of the desktop, to the little cashew note down here, and go across to height and screen edge. Can change a lot more things. So first of all, we do the height. So some people might like a f slightly fatter kind of a taskbar. If I bring it down again, this time I mess with the screen edges. And go like this. So some people like this version as well. Maybe a bit like the Unity interface that's currently in Ubuntu. So I prefer it back down here at the bottom. So sometimes when you move these things around a little bit too much, it upsets the placement of the widgets, but you'll get used to it. Okay, the next thing we'll do is go back to our system settings. Okay, so if we go back to system settings and workspace appearance. Currently I have the number of virtual desktops set at one. Okay, I'm going to increase this to show off something, so one, two, three, okay. Now, before we move on, it says here different d widgets for each desktop. If you do click this option here and then hit apply, it will actually default your desk back to the original one. So let's try this. So just be careful. You go back to the original one that comes with the Kubuntu installation. And my fisheye has gone a bit weird. Um, yeah. Okay, then just uncheck it and you're back again. So if you do check this option, you have to start back adding all your widgets on again. Okay, so we now have three virtual desktops. The next thing to have a look at is screen edges. So if I, I've set up this one here on the top left to present all windows, and on the top right to rotate around my desktop. So I remember I have three of them to rotate around. So let's just do the present windows first of all. Move the mouse up to the top corner here, and I, get, I can present all my desktop windows. Okay. The next one is the desktop cylinder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this particular screen, let's say the BBC News website, 
and I want this on all my virtual desktops. So I'll use this little button up here. That means it's on all virtual desktops. I then move up to the top right, push up, and I've got a cylinder view. Like this. Okay, so now I have three kind of faces on my cylinder. I can change this to be a cube, to be a sphere, or to be a cylinder. The cylinder is just the one I've picked for this video. So then just go back onto desktop number one. There you are. Okay. Finally, we come to what are called the activities. Okay, so these things are kind of a little bit funny to use at the start. You'll notice when you originally install, or first off install Kubuntu, you move up to the top here. It used to be a little cashew note. Now it'll just say activities. I've named it to be my desktop. So just click that, and a menu should come down. A menu comes, um, that's a bit weird. So I think the keyboard monitor is stopping this. Okay. Yeah. So I go to add panel, add widgets, activities, shortcut setting, desktop, and lock widgets. If I go on to activities, I see three of them, or sorry, five activities popping up here. So we can go through my desktop, copy of my desktop, photos activity, which is just this standard folder here. The search activity, which is actually the standard interface for the Kubuntu Netbook Remix. And then the interesting one is this one up here, desktop icons. So if you go back to my desktop, which is my normal one, you'll notice in my folder view icon, I have two files here, hello world text document and a backup document. So some people actually don't like the widget design of KTE4. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. So you just go back to the normal desktop icons. This is the kind of standard Windows desktop where you can just move icons around on the screen and then right click for menus, okay? It's just like it was back in KDE 3.5 in terms of placement of icons on the desktop. So I don't particularly like using this one. So I go back to my desktop. And if at any point you want to suspend any of these activities, maybe for memory reasons, you can just hit the little plus, I'm sorry, the little dot there and you can start it up again by hitting the play or just get rid of it all together by hitting this one. Okay, so there are most of the features that I currently use in my installation of Kubuntu on Iron Ocelot. And finally, please rate and thanks for viewing. Okay, goodbye. See you at Kubuntu 12.04.